How's it going, everybody? George here from GP Lifestyle, helping guys just better, look better, and ultimately be better through style tutorial and tips videos like this. And in today's video, guys, I'll be going over my beard grooming routine. I've actually never made one of these videos before, but somebody in the comments of the previous video asked for it. So here we are. It's a simple five step process that I do a couple times a week. Let's get into it. The first step is the beard trim. I usually trim my beard six millimeters at length. I like it, it's a good look for me. It looks a little bit denser and it matches basically my blonde hair color. Going too short, it looks a little too pale-ish and going a little longer, I'm not a big fan of the look and I also never really let my beard hair grow out for more than three weeks at a time. The trimmer I'm using is from Brio. It's a Brio Beardscape. I like it because you can micro adjust the millimeters used. I set it to six millimeters and then I take out as much of the bulk as I can. I double check in the mirror, make sure I like the look. Sometimes I go to four millimeters, sometimes I go to five millimeter depending on the look. Then what I like to do is brush it as much as I can to lay the hairs as flat as possible. And then I like to go with a mini pair of scissors and um, take out any of these straggly hairs or ones that are just being super uncooperative or long that, 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 that the trimmer did not get just so I can make it look as even as possible. And it's usually around my sideburns where I get this issue of these long straggly bad boys. My second part of my beard grooming routine is an outline. So what I do, I take the guard off, I put it as close to zero millimeters as possible. And then I start off with outlining my neckline. I usually go one to two fingers above my Adam's apple and just go straight across, getting as many hairs as possible and trimming and shaving down anything underneath to that zero length. I do the same thing for my sideburns. I just follow the natural line and make it look as even as possible. Then I move on to the mustache and goatee area. With the mustache, what I like to do, I like to brush it down with a brush or if you have a short comb, that works great too. And just outline it around the top of the lip. This makes my lips look fuller and I'm not a big fan of getting mustache hairs in the top of my lips and into my mouth. Not my cup of tea. Then I do the same thing on for the outside around the goatee where I would just outline it to have a little bit more structure so my the mustache connects to the corner on my lip versus looking like it just came in from the cheek line. I just think it's a great look. I usually leave the cheek lines as is. I'm not very good at lining up my cheek lines and I'm trying to go for a natural look as possible. Now we're getting into the shave now. If you are a shaving enthusiast, you you might cringe at what I use to shave. I use CeraVe as my shaving cream because it's very soothing for my skin. I get very irritated shaving, especially around my neckline. So I like using this to soothe the skin. It also gives me a much better glide and it's clear so I can see what I'm doing. Now the razor I'm using is a Wilkinson Sword safety razor. You just put in one blade, you tighten it up and it's good to go. I like these. These are the best when it comes to shaving for my skin. And if you have irritation or redness, I would recommend going with a straight razor or a safety razor because you don't need four, five, six blades. That's just gonna irritate your skin more because the amount of passes and friction that is generating. One blade is really all you need. Don't really fall into the shaving marketing hype that's been plaguing men's grooming for generations. I shave my neckline against the grain and with the grain to get it as smooth as possible with the CeraVe. And I do find it, it gives me a nice soothing glide. Do the same thing for the cyber, just shaving off that part that we trimmed down to a zero guard. I don't really do anything on the lips. I just leave it as is, that quick little trim across. I do my best to get as many hairs as I can around the goatee and on the outside of the lip. I do my best. I try to get it against the grain, but it can be a little bit hard to even it out. So I sort of just stick to around the corners of my mouth to bring in some more structure to my chin. For the neckline, it can be very anxiety heavy trying to line up your neckline and not fuck it up or have one side, even another side look like a staircase. What I like to do is I like to look at where my beard hairs thin out the most and just shave anything above that, giving it as natural look as possible. Now for my post shave process, I would wash it, everything off and actually cleanse my skin with the CeraVe as like a face wash sort of post shave protocol. And for an aftershave, I actually use benzoyl peroxide. Now this is used to spot treat acne, but it's also great for redness, irritation, and any bumps. It is a little bit, yeah, you get a little bit of a burning sensation because it is a peroxide. So it's in kind of like your aftershave alcohol, but I feel like this soothes my skin more than anything. And I've noticed I don't get red if I use it two to three days 
post shave. After that, I would just follow it up with a regular face moisturizer because I would incorporate the shaving process into my skincare routine. But step number four, I do on a weekly basis and I do it in the shower and I usually shampoo and condition my beard just with the regular stuff I use for my head. Not my Nizarol, but I have yet to find a good sham beard shampoo and condition that I really like. So in the meantime, just sticking to what's at home pretty much. Even if your beard is short and not super long, you can still get benefits of it from washing it and conditioning it because I notice when I don't, it's itchier and it can build up some beard dander and flakes, which I don't like. Even though I'm keeping it only at six millimeters, you would still wash your hair if you had a buzz cut. So do the same thing for your beard. And step five is to oil to condition the beard as well as help with any humidity. And the oil blend I'm using is the same thing I use for my hair mask. It's a coconut caster vitamin E peppermint blend. I like it. We get hydrating elements. We get antibacterial elements. We get some circulation stimulating elements, which can potentially help with beard growth later down. I only use a little bit of it because it is quite thick. You just need a little bit and I run it through evenly and then I brush my beard and I'm good to go. There you guys have it, that is my beard grooming routine. And I honestly think this is a pretty good starter routine for guys with short beards. You can do it at home. Don't expect to get super extra amazing crispy lines like you see on like barber shops on Instagram. Do your best and if you can keep it looking natural and as well camped as possible, you're okay in my books. If you guys watch this far into the video, be sure to drop like and subscribe to the channel because if you made it this far, you're way more serious about dressing better, looking better, and ultimately being better. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video. Peace.